గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ సెమ్ వన్లో యూనిట్ వన్కి సంబంధించి మనకు మనం ఒక చిన్న టాపిక్ని మిస్ చేయడం జరిగింది ఆ టాపిక్ ఏంటి అంటే కంటిన్యూటీ కంటిన్యూటీ ఆఫ్ ఏ ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ టూ వేరియబుల్స్ అనమాట సో ఏదైనా టూ వేరియబుల్ ఫంక్షన్ ఇచ్చి ఈ ఫంక్షన్ కంటిన్యూటీ అవుతుందా అవ్వదా అంటే మనకు ప్రాసెస్ ఏంటి అన్నది చూద్దాం సో దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ విల్ కమ్ ఇన్ ద ఎగ్జామినేషన్ డెఫినెట్లీ ఫర్ లాంగ్ ఆన్సర్ టైప్ ఓకే లాంగ్ ఆన్సర్ టైప్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ బిట్ డెఫినెట్లీ యూ విల్ గెట్ వన్ క్వశ్చన్ దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్ దిస్ మోడల్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఓకే సి వాట్ ఆర్ ది వాట్ ఈస్ ద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ కంటిన్యూటీ ఆఫ్ ఏ ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ టూ వేరబుల్ హౌ టు డూ సో ప్రాసెస్ ఈజ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ నా ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ మెథడ్ ఈజ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ హౌ టు డూ ఓకే సి డెఫినేషన్ కంటిన్యూటీ ఏ ఫంక్షన్ జెడ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ కామా వై ఈస్ సెట్ టు బి కంటిన్యూస్ ఎట్ ఏ పాయింట్ ఎక్స్ నాట్ వై నాట్ ఇఫ్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ కామా వై ఈస్ డిఫైండ్ ఎట్ ఎక్స్ నాట్ కామా వై నాట్ అండ్ ఇయర్ వీ హ్యావ్ త్రీ కేసెస్ త్రీ కండిషన్స్ ఇఫ్ త్రీ కండిషన్స్ ఆర్ సాటిస్ఫైడ్ ఫర్ ద గివెన్ ఫంక్షన్ ఇఫ్ ద గివెన్ ఫంక్షన్ సాటిస్ఫైస్ దిస్ త్రీ కండిషన్స్ దెన్ ద ఫంక్షన్ ఈజ్ సెట్ టు బి కంటిన్యూస్ వాట్ ఆర్ దట్ కండిషన్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ కండిషన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ కామా వై ఈజ్ డిఫైండ్ ఎట్ ఎక్స్ నాట్ కామా వై నాట్ అండ్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ లిమిట్ ఎక్స్ కామా వై టెన్స్ టు ఎక్స్ నాట్ వై నాట్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ కామా వై ఎగ్జిస్ట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ మీన్స్ లిమిట్ షుడ్ బి ఎగ్జిస్ట్ దెన్ ఇఫ్ if it is defined and if it is exist then these two are equal 192 are equal then then we can say this f is continuous continue continuous at x not comma y not i hope all you clear what is the theme of uh, this continuity of functions of two variables listen again first of all the given function should defined at x not comma y not and the limit should be exist and then both should be equal then this f of x comma y is said to be continuous at x not comma y not okay clear so see one problem so in this video i will explain two problems and then i will give one a homework problem try to do that problem otherwise i will explain two problems we will do remaining in the next class okay so why because uh, this method is most important means uh, this type of problem sir will come in the examination definitely so examine whether the function f of x comma y is equal to x square plus 4y x comma y is not equal to 1 comma 1 and uh, 0 x comma y is equal to 1 comma 2 is continuous at 1 uh, comma 2 this is a question so first of all we have to find f of x not comma y not that is f of 1 comma 2 f of 1 comma 2 value is what 0 f of 1 comma 2 value is 0 if it if x comma y is equal to 1 comma 2 then the answer is 0 okay so if we substitute this 1 comma 2 here you will get the answer as 0 so this is 0 now we have to find limit x comma y tends to 1 comma 2 uh, at 1 comma 2 for this function if this also you if you get 0 as limit then we can say then we can say limit is continuous at uh, 1 comma 2 okay so we will find limit x comma y tends to 1 comma 2 x square plus 4 y so how to do this uh, limit of functions of two variables means i explained already one previous uh, video in previous video see that video before going to see this uh, video okay means how to find limit of a functions of two variables already i done i will give that video link in the description uh, once check that video in that i explained uh, more than five to six problems after uh, seeing that uh, video uh, come to this video and uh, you can understand this video very clearly if you see that video first okay then limit x comma y tends to 1 comma 2 x square plus 4 y if we substitute in place of x1 in place of y2 then you will get 9 here we got 0 here it is 9 so both are not equal so this is first case second case in third case both are not equal here limit exists but both are not equal therefore the given function is not continuous at uh, 1 comma 2 okay so this is very simple very simple and easy but if you come if you go to another problems it is somewhat difficult why because here you will get like this uh, limit directly sometimes uh, i will give indeterminate forms in that time we have to take along paths so that is somewhat uh, difficult comparing to um, limit of functions of two variable general problems okay so we will discuss all here so next uh, second problem examine the continuity of uh, f of x comma y at uh, 0 comma 0 okay see second problem so this also same method and same problem we have to determine it is continuity at 0 comma 0 or not so 
what we have to check we have to check limit x comma y tends to 0 comma 0 f of x comma y should be equal to f of x comma y if these two are equal then we can say f is the continuity at uh, at the given point okay right so first of all we have to find f of 0 comma 0 that is f of x naught y naught means f of 0 comma 0 f of 0 comma 0 value is what here 0 comma 0 value is what f of 0 comma 0 sorry sorry if you observe here f of uh, 0 comma 0 value is what 0 then we have to find f of x comma y tends to 0 comma 0 f of x comma y x not y not anna x y anna ok ten matter so we have to take here x only x y only no need of writing x not y not ok write here x comma y limit x comma y tends to 0 comma 0 x y by x square plus y square we have to find limit of this function if we substitute limit directly what you will get 0 by 0 square plus 0 means 0 by 0 it is what indeterminate form if we came like this indeterminate form we have to find the limit along the along the paths means so it is tending to 0 0 comma 0 limit tends to 0 comma 0 means we have to find along this path and uh, along x axis along y axis and along y is equal to x square like this uh, I parabola right along this path we have to find limit along all the paths if uh, limit along all the paths are equal then 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 the limit exists okay after existing that limit that limit should be equal to this zero then only we can say f is continuity at zero comma zero see why we are taking here y is equal to mx means along we have to take along like this line so this is y is equal to x ani manam clarity ga cheppalem why because this line is in the form of y is equal to mx it may be y is equal to 2x and y is equal to 3x y is equal to 4x like this okay that's why generalization line uh, equation of line we are taking here along y is equal to mx substitute in place of uh, y mx in place of y mx then this total function will become into in terms of x okay so here we have to take this both the limit as one limit that is x tends to zero how we done here this means once you check that previous video okay so we you will get limit x tends to zero mx square by x square plus m square into x square if you take x square common in the denominator x square x square will be cancelled limit x tends to zero m by 1 plus m square so here m is constant m by 1 plus m square is constant so the limit we we got the limit as m by 1 plus m square so depending on m values depending on m values uh, so depending on m values the limit will be changed if you take m as 1 then you will get 1 by 2 if you take m as 2 2 by 2 by so 2 to the 4 means 5 you will get like that okay so this is the along y is equal to mx so for uh, according to continuity definition the first condition over in second condition limit should be exist well limit should be exist okay limit should be exist means there should be a limit uh, is same for all the paths okay so we find here already y is equal to mx path so let us take one more path that is y is equal to m x square path along y is equal to x square path okay in place of y substitute x square then you will get x into x square by x square plus x square whole square that is x cube by x square plus x to the power of 4 so here the function converted total in terms of into x so that here we have to take x tends to 0 x cube by x square plus x to the power of 4 if you take x square common here it will be cancelled then you will get x by 1 plus x square if we substitute limit x 0 by 1 plus 0 square that is 0 so in y is equal to mx path we got limits as 1 by 2 1 by 2 by 5 like that we got right 1 by 2 2 by 5 1 by 5 like that we got a different type uh, different limits okay here we got 0 so these are not equal okay limit in both the uh, directions are not equal therefore limit does not exist okay so here limit does not exist okay limit is not unique hence the limit does not exist so limit does not exist means f of x comma y is not continuous at 0 comma 0 y because here second case does not satisfied so that the limit does not exist uh, so that if a given function f of x comma y is not continuous at 0 comma 0 hi hope all you clear
we will see remaining in the next class okay we will see remaining in the next class i hope all you all you clear na video ganaka meeku nachinatlaite like cheyandi share cheyandi ade vidhanga mana channel ki ganaka evaraina first time vachina vallu unnatlaite subscribe cheskodam maatram marchipokandi thank you thank you for watching have a nice day happy learning